Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick and today on Polar Ice Creamery we are gonna make rosemary ice cream. So if you want to see how we do it, stick around and we'll show you. So one of the only living plants in our garden is rosemary. It's it's doing all right, you know, for what it is. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of too much rosemary anyway, but I like it in potatoes and, you know, with lamb and stuff like that. So I made the honey lavender ice cream. I'll put a link below and you can see it on the screen here. That actually grew on me over the few weeks that it was in the freezer. Initially, it was just like eating perfume and I'm just not a fan of those kind of things, but I gave it time and the flavor did, it didn't improve, but the, the flavor, I got used to it. Let's just put it like that. I got used to the flavor of the lavender itself. So I thought as we've got rosemary to hand, let's try and make rosemary. So I went outside, I mean, pissing down my rain, it always is in England and got some of the rosemary and brought it in and this is what we did with it. We started off by taking the rosemary off the stalks. There are some woody parts to this. It's kind of the wrong time of year to be doing this, but we took all the soft leaf parts off and completely removed the stalks. Once it's all completely separated from the stalks, we then just gave it a bit of a bash, a bit of a chop to release some of those oils and put it in a little pot. At that stage, we're gonna start making the plant-based ice cream. So we took our cashew milk here. This is store-bought cashew milk. I didn't make it this time. We put it in our pot, added in our sugars. We did use a stabilizer here as well. As you know, I do like to do it because it stays in the freezer for a while. And then we added in a can of plant-based condensed milk. This is carnation condensed milk, plant-based. It's really good for making ice cream. If you want to make plant-based ice cream, but don't want all the fast and fuff, faff and fuss, then you can just use this. Once it's coming up to a reasonable temperature, I'd say about 50 degrees, we added in our rosemary and let it steep in there on a low heat for about five minutes. At that stage, we gave it a quick stir and make sure that our stabilizer was up to the required temperature of 65 to 75 centigrade, and then took it off the heat and put it in a container where we finally added in two of our tubs. So this is 500 milliliters, 500 grams of Elmley plant-based cream. Give it a final whisk and then put it in the fridge for 24 hours. After that 24 hour period, we took the ice cream base out the fridge and strained out all those pieces of rosemary. It's quite a thick base, this one. So I don't know whether that's gonna be a detriment. We shall see in a moment. Once it's strained, we then poured it in our ice cream machine and churned it. This took about 20 minutes. So it tells me I may have gone too high on the sugars or it's some other reason why it took that long. Who knows? Anyway, as you can see, it churned really nicely. Good amount of overrun. Finally loaded up our tubs and popped that in a freezer to completely chill down. It's been probably a week since I made this, maybe even, yeah, 10 days actually. So it's been in the freezer for quite a while. It's solid, it's really, really hard. So that's kind of counterintuitive as to why it took so long to churn. Normally if things take long time to churn in your ice cream machine, it's because it's either too high sugar, too high alcohol, or your ice cream machine is just playing up for that day, which they do do sometimes. But the fact that it's frozen rock solid, I mean really hard, tells me that it's probably too low in sugars. So who knows? Let's leave this for a couple of minutes and then we'll get some scooped up and see what it looks like. First things first, it's got a really strong smell. I can smell the rosemary just kind of looming out of it as it's warming up slightly. It actually didn't take as long to come up to temperature as I thought, considering it froze really hard. I'd say it was only probably 
four or five minutes of, of out the freezer time, which is kind of the same as Ben and Jerry's and Hagen Dazs and everyone else that, that wants to play with their sugar content in their ice cream. Let's try some, shall we? You can see the excitement on my face. I don't like it. There's a couple of things wrong, I think, with this recipe. It's, it's gone a bit icy, which is a bit strange. So there's something wrong with the, with the recipe. Whether that's not enough sugar or there's less sugar in some of the other ingredients based on previous recipes I've made Who knows? I'll have a look and I'll probably put what I think went wrong in the description below But ignoring the fact It's a little bit gummy and That is probably caused by the fact that there are stabilizers in the cream and in the or the plant, I say vegan, well. and in the plant-based condensed milk, there's stabilizers as well, and I've added stabilizer to it, so maybe it's all just too much, and I didn't pay attention, actually, this is this is a bit of a, an admittance here, I didn't pay attention, and I didn't even look at the type of stabilizers I used, so it's feasible that the combination of stabilizers I added in with the stabilizers that already exist are two that create a gel, which can lead to this kind of gumminess. So you've got that and the fact that I just don't like the taste of it. I think I could probably get past and most other people wouldn't even know about the texture and the tiny bit of ice. I'm so picky as you can imagine and you're probably picky too if you're here watching this that you want your ice cream to be as good as it possibly can and the slightest bit of ice or the slightest thing that takes that texture off to a tangent that you don't want it to go to is going to put you off. You're going to try and rectify that if you really want to make your ice cream as good as possible. Most people don't notice but I just don't like the flavor of it. I don't like this much rosemary. It's overpowering for me. I'd probably say half the amount of rosemary that I used. But if you start adding things like vanilla to boost that flavor, you're actually gonna have a really unusual kind of combo. Rosemary goes with a lot of things, honey, nutmeg, obviously various other savory foods. So you could use this much lighter version or much lighter flavored rosemary ice cream with something else and see where it ends up. But Bit of an experiment, you gotta try some of these things, even if they do sound a bit weird. So this one's not for me, but hopefully you enjoyed watching me make it and you can make your own judgments based on this yourself. So, so thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can support the channel on Ko-fi. I'll put a link down below and this is the kind of picture. Here you can support, you can join in conversations about ice cream, you can ask questions. If you've got problems with your ice cream that you want help with, you can do all that over there as well. If you want to support the channel financially, you can do it over there. It really helps us out because it helps us buy some unusual ingredients so we can give you some more variation on the ice creams that you want to see. Take care and we'll see you next time.